Hey, things are looking pretty good. You know, the city decided to take things up a notch this year. So not only will there be one show, but two fireworks. So right behind me, well, those are some of the fireworks. The fire inspector just got here testing them out and making sure everything is good to go for the big show tonight. We did speak to the mayor of Poway. He says about 40 to 50 percent of the city will be able to see these fireworks go off from their front yard. The city will also have their parks open for people to watch. Now, normally the stadium here at the high school will be packed with thousands of people to watch the show, but things are being done a little differently this year due to COVID-19. Mayor C. Voss was a strong advocate in making these shows happen this year. I do think people need something to look forward to, and July 4th is one of those American traditions that people look forward to for months. It's a centerpiece for American families, so it was important that we did it no matter what. And fireworks are going off from two different locations in Poway. One is here at the high school stadium. It won't be open as it's been in the past due to social distancing guidelines, but the people here can park on the streets and the surrounding area. The other show is happening at the Sportsplex in the South Poway Business Park. Both shows are scheduled to start a few minutes after nine tonight. They're expected to last for roughly 20 minutes. Now, of course, before that happens, we do have the Big Bay Boom happening, happening right here on Fox 5. So you can catch that at 830 as we count down to some of the county's biggest and best 4th of July celebrations reporting live in Poway. Jacqueline Turkey, Fox 5 News.